I've always been told if you want to be successful, you have to work at it. And that's what you really have to do in this job. You have to be fully committed and you can't miss a beat, really. You've got to be on it all the time. What motivates either of you guys to wake up in the dark every morning to go do what you do? For me, it's because I want to get on and try and make a career of being a jockey. And it's just part of the job and you get used to it. And getting up at this time is just normal, really. And on our days off, we wake up at this time. You never really switch off from it. I had my first winner under rules on Definite Future for Kerry, which is a dream come true, really. It's been very good. Richard's ridden Definite Future with great success. He won on him twice and it worked out very, very well. And he will be having opportunities now over the coming weeks on, on higher profile horses, I hope. And I'm sure he'll be good enough to take that responsibility on board. A lot of what I think is hugely important about being a jockey is how you handle yourself, how you behave on a general daily basis, always having a smile on your face. Morning, Mr Moore. How are you? Thank you. Whilst obviously the actual riding of horses and horsemanship is hugely important, it's a combination of all of those things. And I think what the younger lads can pick up from the top jockeys, not only in riding style and how to ride, is how to handle yourself and you wouldn't get two finer examples than Richard Johnson and Jamie Moore. There's not many places where you get to ride out with a champion jockey. They're lucky to have the opportunity to ride out with them, talk to them, pick their brains. They're always super helpful. It's really important for me to trust people, and I'm, I'm not someone that just meets someone and says, right, you'll be okay. It takes time to build up a relationship. That was very nice. You'd think he'd scored yesterday, wouldn't you, doing that? But when you do have a good relationship and you know someone's on your side, you can achieve a lot. It's such a tough, tough game, and there's so many people wanting the same things. You've got to keep level-headed and not let the pressure get to you. The trainer and the owner is sending you out there to do your best on their horse and they're relying on you to do that. That was interesting. Jamie, this time, stick him on your right and he won't jump out to the right. Super, much better. That was nice. Yeah, I was pleased with that, yeah. I liked his attitude up here, you know. I, I just gave him half a squeeze of my legs and I thought, you know, there's plenty there, you know. We love mornings like this, getting stuff done. It's great to get feedback from jockeys that are doing it the whole time and sitting on lots of other good horses, like Richard Johnson was schooling for Philip Hobbs yesterday. So if he's saying this horse feels great when he's coming here, you know you're probably in a good place. I'm pleased as punch with that. We'll run that on Sunday. We have a close connection with Carrie. She takes on any advice that we have to offer. Oh, lovely. She's a great person to work for and she helps everyone as much as she can. Okay, hey, you've got him going. My staff are fantastic, and I think that we all realise if you leave no stone unturned, you're more likely to get the right results, the winning results that you really want. It's a job, it's a way of life, it's a passion. It's something you're born into, and once it's in your blood, you can't get away from it. You don't want to do anything else. Hey, fella. You can't help but get attached to them, but then you yeah, have got to remember that when you take them racing, that's what they're here to do. They're not your pets. They've got to go out and do a job, and that's our job. Oh, here we go then. Oh. You've got to remember that day, when that comes, push it all to one side for a moment. <laughs> I think pride is the biggest thing. It's all our hard work at home and everything. It leads up to this point. 